the channel. We have got a new package in the mail from uh, from Rock Auto today. Remember I told you guys in the last video or the video before or whatever, I was ordering a uh, new set of uh, sockets and pigtails for the park light. So went ahead and ordered those. And today I've got a really cool thing uh, for the truck that uh, it should be showing up later. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see uh, what happens when I put this on the truck. And if you guys know, you know. And if you don't, you're just gonna have to wait to find out. But we've got four new uh, pigtail sockets, and uh, also got a uh, ABS sensor, wheel speed sensor. Uh, finally gonna shut off that annoying little ABS light. We've got some things to do here, and uh, you know we're just we're just updating, updating, making things better. Uh, these new Sockets are going to be much better um, in the in those lights, so we can have something fresh and uh, something with a with a good connection, and everything should work out fine. Thank you guys so so very much for participating in the anthem live on Instagram the other day. Um, I had a few of you guys from the channel. I had a few of you guys from my Instagram page. I greatly appreciate the support. I greatly appreciate tuning in to stuff like that. Um, helps out a ton to uh, just to go around and kind of support each of the social media accounts. Uh, so with that being said, throw a like on this video here. Uh, you're gonna want to, by the end of this video, something's gonna change a little bit on the truck and uh, it's gonna be cool. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just hit that like button right now. And uh, we can make it happen. Usually I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mention when I get LED lights, but this one come packaged so nicely that I just had to kind of show it off. Like, look at that. Nice little box. And you get your LED light bulbs in there. And uh, really the only reason I'm mentioning these at all is because I've seen a few people asking about the uh, lights my underhood lights on the truck. And you see uh, that I've got the two underhood lights and they're LEDs. These take 1156 um, LED bulbs. And uh, I've got two of them and most people notice that and they'll ask a little bit about it. And I've never really explained it or done any sort of a video on it. I just, I just never really think about it. And uh, so most of the trucks come factory uh, with just the one, the one light under the hood or some of the trucks come with the one that's on a little reel and you could just take it and, and move it. Um, so this is just another one of the factory lights mounted up there and uh, wired up there. So it, it just makes a lot more sense. Trucks, it's, it's had them for a long time uh, like this. So it just makes a lot more sense. And today we're going to uh, swap out these older LEDs because they really just aren't that bright and they don't do a whole lot of good under the hood. So we're gonna swap these guys out and hopefully get a little bit more light under here. And yeah, I would say they're plenty, plenty bright because I can see everything down there now. And there's a little comparison, the old store-bought ones uh, versus these. And uh, I got them on Amazon. This is the brand. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but um, I'll have them linked in my, uh, my Amazon store down in the description. If you guys need some uh, 1156 LEDs. All right, so new day. It started raining up a storm um, yesterday. We've gotten so much rain this year, it's not even funny. But more packages. But I'm pretty sure I've got a good idea what this one is. Oh, it's heavy. And should contain the LEDs that I got to finish the cluster. I'm rather excited for this one. So, uh, got some Moog upper ball joints. So we're gonna do all four. Wow, you gotta love their uh, their packaging. But anyway, we're gonna do all four upper and lower ball joints. And here is those little T10 uh, LEDs for the gauge cluster swap. A Russian doll, you keep opening up more boxes. Ooh, check that out. You guys know what these are. I'm gonna put on the truck and we're gonna get just a little bit more width. Uh, basically this is so I could not only have a little wider stance, but I really wanna see how the truck's gonna look once I do uh, get the 14 wide wheels that I want. And uh, this should achieve that by adding two more inches uh, to my uh, 20 by 12. I mean, these are uh, you know, fairly lightweight billet aluminum spacers, nothing special. They're not like Bora or you know anything anything fancy. I just got them on Amazon and uh, I don't know. There's been people that 
have had great luck and nothing's ever happened with an Amazon spacer or an eBay spacer. I've got some buddies that run them all the time as long as you keep your wheels and everything torqued down and uh, you keep everything in check, we should be good to roll. Um, I'm brand new to the spacer gang so I, uh, I don't really know exactly how they work too well but it uh, seems simple. Take off your wheel tire, uh, put this on, then put your wheel and tire on over it and uh, we should be good to go. And since I'm impatient, I'm going to go ahead and try one on the back. Oh, that's a heavy tire. Man. Okay, so the spacer goes on. So spacer on, six lug nuts from the, the wheel on. Alright, so we torqued these down to 130 foot-pounds. Uh, some forums and websites that I read say to uh, just do it the same as the wheels which is 120 and uh, some people I asked a couple of buddies that were pretty much experienced with these um, they said they do it at 130 uh, so we just did 130 just to be safe okay we've got one side of spacers on so far and uh, I'm gonna be honest I'm a fan I like this I like this a lot we've got a good amount about two, two and a half inches, three inches sticking out of the fender flare. That way it doesn't look like it's flush. So there's that side compared to the uh, driver's side, which is not done yet. So we've got passenger side with spacers, driver's side without. Now without the spacers, I only had like maybe a half an inch uh, sticking out past the fender flares and uh, you know while that's that's okay um, in reality I uh, don't really mind that too terribly bad I've always wanted the uh, the tires sticking out of the fender flares uh, to where you have more of an aggressive looking uh, stance a lot wider stance such as if you had a, a wider tire and wheel and uh, I think this you know this does a good job at achieving the look that I'm trying to go for now of course this is not a replacement for getting wheels with larger offset or uh, wider wheels or wire, wider tires. Uh, this is just basically a temporary setup and uh, you know a cheaper alternative uh, to see if I like the width. If I like the width of 14 wides or you know if I like the width of 12 wides better. And I can say that uh, with these spacers on here I definitely am a fan of the 14 wide and uh, probably uh, you know a 1350 or even a 1550 tire uh, just to give it that squared off you know look all right wheel spacers are completely installed and uh, it's actually kind of weird because it's a significant more amount of uh, my tire sticking out so it's actually a little bit a little bit weird a little bit different so we're gonna go on a little drive make sure nothing falls off and we don't rub in the front I don't think we should but I guess you, oh, well, there's a little bit a little bit of rubbing up in the front well here she is my ball joints are probably screaming in pain and agony and uh, they definitely need replaced and it needs an alignment but uh, wow, it actually looks a lot different and uh, really a lot better. I like it. It's got a nice stance now, a little bit wider. Should have done spacers a long time ago, to be honest. Take a look at it from the back here. Nice little amount of poke now. I really enjoy it. I like it a lot. Now, it's definitely a lot different. Um, driving it on the road, it is noticeably wider, but uh, you know, that's something that we've all got to get used to. So, uh, you know, I like it. I think the spacers were a good call. Hopefully, nothing happens. Kind of knock on wood. Um, but I guess we'll just uh, we'll wait and see. <laughs> so, uh, one thing I just learned pulling out of that parking lot: there is no more turning at full lock. Um, I'm, I can get almost there to full lock, but as soon as I do, it hits the back of that fender flare. And uh, yeah, so I've got just a little bit of rub now, but we have to make sacrifices sometimes. And there we have it, guys. We've got wheel spacers on the truck, giving us two inches more width. Uh, something that I actually said, uh, I think in the past, that I wasn't ever going to do. 
Uh, I was never a big fan of wheel spacers, but uh, after uh, you know, kind of all the improvements that they've made over the years, then I decided to go ahead and jump aboard and uh, join the spacer club. And uh, we've got a nice wide stance here in the garage. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and what you guys want to see happen next on the truck. We did not get the gauge cluster done today, but that is coming probably this weekend if the rain holds up and I can actually get down here and uh, get out here and do anything. Thanks a lot for watching guys, as always. If you're new here, please consider going down there and hitting that subscribe button for me. Give me a like on this video. Let's try to get this thing to 50 likes. And please guys, do not forget, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, which we are really, really close to doing so, I'm going to be giving a complete set of Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors away, switchbacks and all, whatever vehicle you have, whether it's an old body style Chevy, newer Chevy, Toyota Tundra, Ford truck, Dodge truck, uh, whatever you've got, we're going to be getting you guys set up with a chance to win a set of tow mirrors once we hit 10,000 subscribers. 20,000 subscribers on my Instagram page, we're going to be giving away a bullet antenna. I will buy a bullet antenna and have it shipped to one of your guys' addresses. And uh, yeah, we need to get this stuff going. We need to get this on the road, guys. I am excited to get to that 10,000 follower, 10,000 subscriber mark. Uh, we've got a lot to do, guys. Big, big plans coming up for this truck, so be sure you stay tuned and follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you all in the next video.